Moving further with a small experiment to check out the consequence of conservation of energy. Copper coils are wounded on a cylindrical cardboard. And the two ends of the coil are connected to a sensitive galvanometer. A magnet is moved towards the coil. The upper face of the coil occurs north polarity. Now the work done is against the force of attraction. You are able to see you got a north pole and south pole magnet. Automatically if it is moved towards a coil, automatically you are able to see the deflection here. For the moving, when the magnet is moved, the number of magnetic lines of force linking the coil changes, which causes an induced current to flow through the coil. The direction of the induced current according to Lenz's law is always op opposite to the motion of the magnet. The work done in moving the magnet is converted into electrical energy. This energy is precipitated as heat energy in the coil. On the contrary, the direction of the current were to help the motion of the magnet. You can see the, magnet is, the current is moving here. It will start moving faster, increasing. You are able to see here, the current is in the direction of here. In this direction, once the magnet is approaching. And once it is moving here, you are able to see the direction is changing. You are able to see the direction is changing here, in a negative direction. So it would start moving faster, increasing the change of magnetic flux linking the coil. This result in the increase of induced current in hydric energy and electrical energy would be produced without any external work being done, but this is impossible. Therefore, the induced current always flows in such a direction to oppose the cars. Thus, it is proved that Lin's law is a consequence of conservation of energy. This is in this direction and the current is in this direction.